ledge. And that's what Rhythm is also really good at is if he's able to get that arc fire spacing on ledge, oh, you are trapped in there forever. And once you jump out, that, there's that forward yeah. air. And to the point where the ledge trapping might be really difficult, Rob is a character that when he's at ledge, it can be a little bit tricky for him to get off, but he has the option to not be at ledge with his high recoveries, going for a really high up B. So as we go into this game, curiously, I wonder if Jill is going to be opting <gasps> for that. Are you that, dead? That, no, nah, not yet. Fine. Battlefield. You're oh, dead. now you're dead. Oh, that is a zero to death. And I was, I was just going to mention that, you know, Dill has a comfort, the comfort ability on this stage. You have three platforms at your advantage as Rob, who is so good at, you know, juggling you in the air as long as you as long as long he can. And that's always having the rhythm at first. And here is that gyro coming in to start a really good combo with the forward air. And once again, here's dash attack. Down to, down to, down to, down to, down to. Into, into dash tag, double up, up to, and nothing off of the up air. And Rhythm is struggling to find his presence on the stage. Center stage, Rob takes you. Ledge, Rob takes you. Off stage, Rob takes you. What will Rhythm do now? Oh, well, so far, Rhythm's gotten two hits in in total, Stop and that's, that's one it. stock left. All right, this is the, the rest of your job for this game is to recollect yourself. Don't yeah. get, don't get. Don't sweat the small stuff. You have, this is the best three out of five. You have time. Sure, get Roto Arms and die at zero. It doesn't matter because as long as you figure out what you need to be changing, then, well, here are those juggles. I was yep. questioning whether those juggles would be there because that's probably one of the ways Rob is getting back to stage and definitely seems like they are. And I was just going to say, the Robin up air is super, super good to contest a lot of high recovering characters, such as Rob, who, you know, can recover for a very long time up in the air, and Robin can actually contest that. And there's that arc fire I was talking about earlier, the perfect timing for that, and of course the tome is starting to, to be weary a little bit. Man, Jairo just e eats it up like Reese's Puffs, every single projectile <laughs> in the game. Oh, good air done. That's nice. There's that wide use of Elwin to come back on stage very safely. All right, and gonna be I was sort of, you know, counting rhythm out, you know, full force, but, I mean, granted, this is still, oh, to call it a yes. mountain is an understatement, but we're seeing the strategy coming alive. In games two and three, it feels like rhythm knows what to do now. This could possibly be it. Ooh, great oh, great mash and air dodge, though. Yeah, mashing out the air dodge and actually just avoiding the up smash completely. Force smash, not taking advantage of it was angled upwards. Now, now rhythm has to keep this, this center stage control, oh. but might be losing it to dash attack. Gyro, pick up a gyro, and there's that bait that Dill is looking for. You're gonna pick up gyro, and I'm going to kill you for it. Yeah. I believe you can also pick up gyro with Z, correct? I wanna say yes. In the air. And that means yes. that you don't have to worry about <clears throat> committing to an air dodge. Mm -hmm. so, I believe so, yes. Which is also something that uh, I feel like he should know about. I think he was also, maybe he was scared about Rob getting to him and killing him at that point. But um, uh, Robin has item flight. Granted, it's not at, it's not immediately accessible like Rob's yeah. gyro, but definitely Robin's love to use it because it's such a unique projectile, especially because normally when you're playing against Robin, you are expecting a real speed to the projectiles. Mm -hmm. Arc fire, very slow. You know, every Thunder variant that isn't Thoron also takes a while to get to you. But book in hand, zoop, across the map and can snipe you from anywhere. And Levin Sword, of course, also a pretty good factor as well. Yeah, I, I feel like, Ro like, like Rhythm didn't have a chance to breathe in the first 30 seconds of that match, because there goes two of your stocks. Hey, you started the game off with one stock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also you probably have a lot of nerves. I don't know if he's ever played on a stage like this before. You know, Defend the North, it has clout. So mm -hmm. I think that maybe he's settling into what he needs to be doing, and the very start of this game, I feel like, will be very telling in that regard. You're absolutely right. Here is the counter pick in question for Robin, uh, for Ribbon, actually, is Kalos. Kalos, of course, we saw how Gatsby put in that stage early. You see the benefits it gives to some characters, but someone like Robin gives a lot of weight for some, some more arc fire setups and also uh, projectile play. Yeah. Also, when you are trapped at the corner, it becomes a lot scarier with having that platform there, also kind of limiting your movement, because if you go on there, then all of a sudden, you know, you can Robin can shark with up air and things. Uh, so, already this game is it's years of difference yes. from what we saw before. We're seeing a more, a more uh, you know, calm down rhythm and also opting to go for more Robin setups that we are, are much more viable on because of my Kellos. But now we are coming on stage safely, gain the last hit of arm order as we roll back to stage. And there's that forward I was talking about. Yeah, and also that was a pretty, that Hold was like up. an overshooting forward air, mm -hmm. recognizing that Dill wanted to be fading back. And oh, dodging that ro the Robo Beam. 
is actually... Oh, I don't know. That's, that's bad. Okay. Even with a taller ceiling, that's another reason, consideration for picking Kalos. Uh, being that high up there, up there is going to kill you. Do you in regardless. Yeah, no, Rhythm cannot... Rhythm no, doesn't have too much of a, of a mountain to climb right now. You know, a little bit of 120%, 120% for Rhythm is really easy to, you know, kind of make this back to even. Um, especially if you are if you're Robin on ledge, you can absolutely do some ledge play. Or just contest Rob in the air with up air. And like I was saying earlier, oh, that gyro is of course still active. Be very careful. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I was questioning how this matchup was going to look for Robin. But Rhythm's making it look like Rob has weaknesses. He, like, Rob can't go to the ledge. He can't recover from on high. Ooh. <gasps> the spike hitbox, but not getting it, unfortunately. What a niche little thing to know that Owen has a spike hitbox if you aim it oh, correctly. Yeah. <laughs> that's something that Rhythm does know, and if, he, if given the chance, he will be using it. Oh, uh, wanted to get there in time to catch the book, but despawned a little bit too quickly. All right, yeah, so now we're seeing <clears throat> Dill adapting by yes. hanging on the ledge. But the counterplay to that is Shurak fire, just a couple pixels to the right. Mm -hmm. Then they'll hit the opponent on the ledge, which can lead to some disastrous combos if the uh, if Rhythm is able to convert properly. But look at this completely even game. Granted, the first stock of this game, we ended up having, yeah, up there taking it. But this time around, can we maybe see Rhythm find that first? That's taken out, unfortunately. Nope. That side view offstage is so powerful as Robin. It carries you a little bit further into the blast. It's like a guaranteed death at, at, at a high enough percentage right now. And against Robin specifically, the fact yeah. it's so long lasting. Oh, but what? so is that fair. It's responding Eating so right through quickly. that gyro as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Normally, Rob is a character where if you end up a stock down against against him, you might the game might already be over unless you play your cards right and. Rhythm is playing this hand perfectly because at no point is Dill able to extend any kind of lead. You're absolutely right. Right now we have the Rhythm just picking the pace, making sure that we're keeping it an even game against both characters. Ooh. Setting his control, Gyro in hand, not getting anything off of it. We're looking for a forward connection off of the Gyro hit, but unfortunately it did bounce off of Dill's shield. Now here's Dill coming in with a lot of threatening Rob moves. Nair being one and then one of the bigger hitboxes that, uh, that Rob has, of course. Yeah, we're seeing tons of full hops from Rhythm, and Dilla started to try aim to exploit it with up tilt with neutral airs. Oh, 113 percent! The back air is gonna connect. It. Yes, absolutely. That back air, such it. The biggest thing about back air is that it stutters a little bit. You know, there's a slight little of lag in the very beginning, and if you don't, if you're not timing it correctly, you're gonna eat that 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 hit. Yeah, it can throw mm -hmm. you off of your timing, everything. Yeah, it's. Dill just closing it out there really well. And you saw the fast fall. Great recognition from Dill, actually. Mm -hmm. A lot of characters, if they fast fall and then up B, it's pretty safe. Your opponent has to really anticipate it in order to actually catch. But Robin, not having necessarily the fastest fall speed in the wor world, but also just Dill scoping it out perfectly. Oh, yeah, that, that was that stock gone. Oh, Done it gone. Uh, here are the bands, of course. Uh, FD and Kalos were going actually over the small battlefield uh, instead. In difference of Small Battlefield and Battlefield being, of course, the lack of a third platform, that middle platform, of course. So, this is one of, you know, Rob's really good stages just because of the, the, um, the, the, the shortness of it all, sorry. The shortness of it all. And, you know, you have nowhere to run. You are up close in Rob's face, and there's that, those down tilts as well. It's Not just, only that, the yeah. Robo Beam did like 30. At point <laughs> blank, why does that move do so much damage? It's a big old move, and it comes so slow. You better block it. <laughs> What were you doing in Rob's face to begin with? Yeah, but on this, we had to on this stage, unfortunately, just as the benefit of small battlefield to a boxer, kind of like Rob. Uh, if you're in his face, he's going to take that, but there's that hard fire into forward air. And sword in hand. Gonna, okay, try to uh, punish the landing, but great awareness from Dill. Managing to get back to stage, pressuring with these down tilts, with dash attacks, all these quick moves that make a slow zoner like uh, Robin's life miserable. Trying to go once more for the Elwin spike, but not getting it. Now we're in a reversal situation. And there's an arm rotor, last hit, arm rotor. <laughs> it lasts so long that it waited out the invincibility. Oh. oh man, just but of course at the high, the, the higher percentage, the less invincibility you have on ledge. So eventually it's gonna run out and deal with that awareness. It's gonna spam it on you until you eventually get out of the situation. Unfortunately, rhythm did not. So now rhythm has a stock deficit. Yeah. Not too much though. It was, it was also just playing with fire because if the invincibility did last long enough, that probably should have been a stock for rhythm. But very similar to game two, 
immediately responding, taking the stock, not letting Dill run away with this game. Absolutely not. That's not what Rhythm wants. Rhythm does not want to be in any kind of disadvantage state against Rob. And this is why they are going for a lot of ledge situations. Ooh. That bait was incredible to bait out the shield and going in forward there with, into the back air. Into forward smash, actually. And I love that because we had seen that Rhythm, sorry, that Dill would be just hanging out on ledge, you know, trying to wait out the arc fire and the danger to doing something like the danger doing something like that is you can get hit by the arc fire off stage. So just, I love the sort of the flow chart having so many variable paths, paying attention to what Dill's trying to do. You're absolutely right. And right now, again, we are, we're at an even game. Uh, Rhythm is refusing to allow himself to really succumb to, to Rob's antics. You know, Rob's really, really Ooh. harsh combo starters and, uh, and combos in general. Rhythm on ledge, there's that armor why is he shielding through it? Now we are in the reversal Ooh. situation with, with Rhythm on the ledge. Uh, and unfortunately not getting anything off on an edge guard. Yeah, tried to go for the Z drop on that book. Oh, missing the tech, but Till not anticipating it. Okay, down tilt into down tilt, two combo, and you're living. Oh, that you're living. close. Yeah, that low, the Dot Bear's not actually going to do it, and that means you are alive. A bear! Oh, no! Dropped down a little bit too close. If he had been a little bit more patient, he maybe could have gotten it. That should be <laughs> it. Oh, what a mash! I, I couldn't I could handle how Jairo just left the stage after being hit by Arcfire multiple times, but here we are. This is a really good situation for Dill, but not getting the down that she was looking for, and there that it is. That does it. Oh, the my jab. goodness. This, just jab. Ah. And then Cyber off the stage. Oh, right off into the angle platform. With the iframe still uh, active, now we are in, we're in a situation where this could be Rhythm's last stock or, or last game of winners, Can or we're going to game four. <gasps> Can you put a game on the board? It looks like Dill does not oh, want to let that happen. That's, that's it. That's it. You're dead. You're, you're, yeah, you're dead. Okay, I got scared. Okay. That was that. It was All that right. was just constant gyro. <laughs> it was constant Z-Jab gyro. Z-Jab gyro. Rhythm can get hit by yeah. it. Yeah. Not gonna lie, that was a little anticlimactic. They've evil. been going back and forth so much, and then just to end it with a zero to death. It was like a nice little bookend, though. The set started with zero to death, ended with a zero, zero to death. death. Yeah. Love to see it. I love some things are eternal, and mm -hmm. one of those things is Rob zero, zero to, to death. death. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but rhythm was just on his game the entire time. I love to see it. Uh, almost could have brought it back, but that last stock was just a lot, just, just a lot of, um, you know, just gyro play. But what can gyro do? It puts you in, in hit stun for so long, and you are just basically in the right trajectory for Rob to follow up with Fair, with Nair, with side rotor, with arm, side B, uh, arm rotor. What can you do? Yeah, Look arm, at this. arm rotor put in so much work this game. Evil. And it's the fact that it's so long lasting. The mm -hmm. fact that it lasts like seven seconds or whatever the heck it is, mm -hmm. because it waited out invincibility. It just caught the recoveries, jumps so many things. When when rhythm was off stage, it just seemed like every single time there was just a hurricane waiting for him right at the ledge. Yeah, I know. This Rob is so threatening as as a character. You know, not he's not scary like Bowser, where you like you see Bowser, and you're like, oh no. You see Rob, and it's like, what is this Rob going to do to me today? Am I going to get disrespected? Am I going to get, like, disobeyed? No. What's going to happen today? Am I going to die? And you will. And Absolutely before will. Rob is the secret villain of the new Mario movie. Oh.